Welcome to the Portland Regional Technical Training Department's video for Using the Mega Ohm Meter for Hybrid Fuel Cell and Electric Vehicle Diagnosis. What is the Mega Ohm Meter? We use it for high voltage insulation testing. Insulation testing with the Mega Ohm Meter is similar to pressure checking a hydraulic circuit. Increasing the hydraulic pressure makes any leak easier to identify. Here we have a leak in this hydraulic line. As pressure goes up, the leak begins to show. Now let's see how this relates to electricity. The purpose of electrical insulation is like that of a pipe in the hydraulic circuit. Just like a pipe contains a liquid, the insulation contains the electrical current, so the exterior of the wire is safe. So let's replace our load with an EV motor. And our hydraulic pressure? That would be voltage. As our voltage goes up, any sort of flaw with the insulation will cause electrical leakage. So why use the mega ohm meter? Well, to use the high voltage and current that comes from the high voltage battery itself would be completely unsafe. So the mega ohm meter, these meters apply hundreds of volts and read in millions of ohms to assess the integrity of high voltage system insulation. So let's compare the circuits for a high voltage circuit and a low voltage circuit found on vehicles today. To the left, we have a low voltage circuit. We have power from the battery, and then ground is achieved through the chassis of the vehicle. Well, on the right, we have an example of a high voltage circuit. Both power and ground are completely isolated from the chassis of the vehicle. So, when we have an isolation problem, this is where we might have leaking voltage that is getting to a chassis ground. If you take a look at the high voltage wire itself, you can see the inner portion is a high voltage conductor, then surrounded by an orange high voltage in insulation, and then on top of that we have EMI shielding that is on the outside. Now, as far as leakage goes, we could have current that is actually finding a chassis ground or potentially reaching the shielding. Before we go any further, it needs to be said, only hybrid certified and hybrid expert technicians can do any sort of high voltage diagnosis or repair. So with that said, what would happen if you had this issue? Let's be honest, we're talking about high voltage shorting to a chassis ground. More likely, you will have a DTC P3009, P0AA6, or P0AA649, amongst other DTCs indicating isolation resistance decreased. This can actually lead to components being unsafe. So, how Toyota monitors this insulation reduction is that we use the dataless parameter of short wave highest value to continually test the insulation resistance. So let's look at a diagnostic scenario where we use the mega ohm meter. Let's say that a hybrid Camry comes into the shop and it's a 2011. And it has a P0AA6 stored in memory. Going to the DTC for this vehicle, you can see that it applies to various different isolation faults throughout the entire hybrid system. Here we can see the detection condition as well as the trouble area, as well as a diagram that shows the affected regions. In this scenario though, we are going to pretend that we only have a P0AA6. 
the very first thing that they have us do is by the isolation fault go to the diagnostic procedure so in this case we're gonna say it led us to step number three remember that we need to safe the vehicle or in other words completely isolate the battery from the rest of the hybrid system follow the instruction manual for how, how this is done and there is also a QTG for safing vehicles and it says we're going to put it in a 500 volt range for the mega ohm meter itself so in this scenario we are going to take the three phases of the MG2 motor and we are going to test from the U to body ground as well as the shielded wiring V to body ground as well as the shielded wiring and W for body ground as well as the shielded ground so in this case guys we should have 100 M ohms or mega ohms or more in other words this would be 100 million ohms of resistance tools needed for this process are going to be a fluke 1587 with positive and negative leads some eye protection and some class zero gloves that are tested previously on the face we can see that the last choice is insulation testing so we're going to turn the dial all the way to over and it keeps our last setting of 50 volts push the range button until we get 500 volts just as the repair manual said the repair manual gave us the specification of 100 mega ohms just so happens that the multimeter can measure up to 550 mega ohms this is saying greater than 550 mega ohms ideally we should see that greater than 550 mega ohms first we're going to test the wiring for MG2 to chassis ground. The red lead has a button on it to apply the 500 volts. First looking at you, we make contact and push the button. We read 550 mega ohms. Let's check V. And then W. we are completely isolated from body ground now let's check on the shielded ground using the same cable we'll take the negative lead and connect it to the cable shielding using our red lead again we are going to check with U, V, and W we are completely isolated from the shielded ground okay now let's take a look where we have a problem we're going to use body ground to illustrate this again our specification was 100 mega ohms or more using UV and W we see our reading is much less than 100 mega ohms the same on V and then W we have poor isolation from ground last but not least how about some best practices and cautions first of all when depressing the test button know that it may take a few seconds for the reading to register also although the repair manual does not specify a time period for how long to apply the voltage 
be consistent with the length of time. In other words, one minute, and if you're going to do one minute, do it each and every time. Then, don't hold the button for too long. The meter, it will get hot. That's it, guys. Now remember, only hybrid certified and hybrid expert technicians can do high voltage diagnosis and repair. Thanks for your time.